Okay, old, old school Kenmore. It's got water. And could be the door switch or the lid switch. Could be the timer. Could be something stuck in a water pump. Got a good agitator. Let's take a look. Okay, one way to tell, it's easy now if I have these uh, needle nose. I pulled the, uh, this the door switch. I shorted the switch right there. It's the gray and the black and white wire. And I never touch the green wire when I do this. And basically it came on and spun out. So it, it has a bad lid switch. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to take this cover off. And then we're going to try and repair the lid switch. Okay, so we got it apart. <sighs> no major rust. And let's look at the switch here. You see that switch is falling apart right there. We got Mr. Spider, what's up? And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair that switch. I will uh, glue it back together and wrap a piece of wire around it and that'll be fixed. And so you can see right here, it's got a little gap right there. And if we push it up, then you can hear the switch working, but otherwise that switch wouldn't work, so it would get stuck in the mid-cycle. And so that's what we're talking about. Okay, so this one here, what I've done is basically I'll put glue around it. I make sure not to get any glue on the lever part, the little tang that goes down. And then I basically put tape over it. You can see I got wrap. Sometimes I'll take, I'll just wrap wire around it. Uh, that should hold fine. That glue will dry in a few hours, and it'll be good even. Okay, so this one has there. the major clunk when it stops. So basically, when the machine stops, then it's got a kind of clunk. It's a loud noise, basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lube. We're gonna lube the brake. Look right there, right there where that red thing is, that's the brake. What happens is that gets rusty in there, in that brake hub, and it, it will cause it to abruptly stop. And so basically, when it does that, it could break this uh, drive coupler here, it abruptly stops, so we want to lose this brake. So what we need to do is we need to spin the silver thing, that silver thing right there. You need to spin that until we see the spring, the yellow spring in there. And I'll do that and I'll show you. Okay, so, if you take a look at it, this one's spring is not yellow, it's a commercial one. So it's, normally the, the standard ones are yellow. See the spring right there? That spring, what we do is we take a little oiler and we're gonna take and stick a couple of drops of oil right kind of under that spring. And then we can sort of work it around in there. And that will stop that from ab abruptly uh, stopping. I'm going to put a couple of drops of oil on this screw, uh, spring here. Look for any rusty springs. Put some oil on if you need. Ideally, it would be grease. Nothing too bad here. So now, I just have to reassemble in reverse order. Thanks for watching. I give phone advice for $25. You can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time.